In the Land of the One-Horned Rhino Presented by Holidays on Shoestrings Kaziranga National Park is a protected area spread across the floodplains of the Brahmaputra River with its varied grasslands that wind through its entire length. Blessed with four different kinds of vegetation, tropical moist mixed deciduous forests, semi-evergreen forests, open jungle, rivers and water bodies, its breathtaking array of flora and diverse fauna adds value to the scenic beauty of the park. It is one of the prominent wildlife destinations in India, known for having the five big wild animals in its vicinity, which are the one-horned rhinos, Asian elephant, royal Bengal tigers, wild buffaloes, and swamp deer. It is noteworthy to mention that it is the host for two-thirds of the world's population of endangered Indian one-horned rhinos. Kaziranga National Park is divided into four tourism zones. The western zone or the Bagori zone in Bagori village is the most preferred tourism zone as the landscape provides the opportunity to get very close sight of the one-horned rhino. Central zone or Kaziranga zone is located in the small town of Kohora and tours start from the Mihimukt riding tower. The entry gate of the eastern zone of the Kaziranga Park, situated in the small town of Agratoli, can be an amazing experience for exploring the wildlife around the water bodies and is home to numerous exotic water birds which can be viewed perfectly just using binoculars. The word rhinoceros means horned nose. The only enemy rhinos have is man. Poachers hunt and kill rhinos for their horns. Very poor eyesight makes them vulnerable as they struggle to see someone like a poacher or something like a jeep until it's almost right in front of them. So when the rhino sees the person or object, it usually charges in self-defense. Despite their huge size and weight, Rhinos can run or charge up to 60 kilometers an hour. And don't we know, we have been at the receiving end. Despite the fact that we were in a jeep, it left us in a quivering mass. But it turned and ran off and stood in our path as if to say, listen, I'm waiting. Boy, what an experience. A bit of advice, if a rhino ever charges at you, head for the nearest tree and climb it. You, since you'll never outrun it. In spite of this, it turned out to be a very memorable trip. The park is beautiful, almost feels like an alternate universe, like a scene from Jurassic Park. And as luck would have it, we even had the opportunity of spotting a tiger. During the monsoons, the western region of the park is submerged due to the rising water level of the Brahmaputra and animals migrate to elevated and forested regions outside the southern border of the park. However, dry spells also create their share of problems like food shortages and occasional forest fires to avoid which fire breaks and controlled burning is often resorted to. It's impossible to leave the mighty Brahmaputra without watching a sunset from its waters. And that's exactly what we headed out to do. A few of the birds we spotted. The Asian barred owlet, bar-headed goose, chestnut-headed bee-eater, common teal, cotton pygmy goose, grey-headed lapwing, grey heron, Indian darter, Indian roller, Pala's fish eagle, brown rock thrush, pied kingfisher, red-backed shrike, red jungle fowl, 
rose-ringed parakeet, Siberian bush chat, spangled drongo, spot-billed pelican, streak-throated woodpecker, woolly-necked stork. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and tell your friends about it.